हेलो गाइस सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वंडरफुल सेशन ऑफ डेली डोज यू नो गाइस इन दिस डेली डोज सेशन वी आर रेगुलरली कमिंग आइदर विथ सम क्वेश्चन और विथ सम वंडरफुल कॉन्सेप्ट सो गाइस टुडे आई एम हियर विद द क्वेश्चन सो टुडे इज क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इज रिलेटेड टू द शीयर स्ट्रेन इट इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड यू कैन से वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर बोथ द ब्रांचेस मैकेनिकल एंड सिविल एज इट इज रिलेटेड टू द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल सो गाइज द क्वेश्चन से इज द कॉर्नर बी एंड डी ऑफ द स्क्वेयर प्लेट रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द सॉलिड लाइन्स सो यू कैन सी देर इज अ स्क्वेयर ए बी सी डी विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द सॉलिड लाइन्स आर गिवन द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इंडिकेटेड द शीयर स्ट्रेन एट ए एंड बी रिस्पेक्टिवली आर सो यू नीड टू आंसर अबाउट द शीयर स्ट्रेन एट ए एंड बी सो गाइज वेन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस फिगर you already know that initially a b c d with solid lines is shown then after that because of forces you can see dotted lines are shown so dotted line are coming after the displacement happens so definitely because of that some shear strain would be coming you know how we define the shear strain shear strain is defined as the change of angle between two consecutive side on the application of shear forces like you know that initially the angle at a is 90 degree and initially the angle at b is also 90 degree but you know whenever uh, the displacements happen and dotted lines are coming then the angles have been changed so guys i am assuming that this angle with the dotted line is phi and this angle with the dotted line is alpha so my dear obviously by symmetry you can say this is also phi and you can say by symmetry that this is also alpha so you can say if you want to find out the shear strain that is shear strain at a then you would be writing it as this is pi by 2 minus 2 times of phi similarly if you want to write down the shear strain at b you would be writing it as pi by 2 minus 2 times of alpha because initial angle was 90 then angle was 2 phi here it was pi by 2 then it was 2 uh, alpha so you need to see what is the change of angle actually okay so when i want to find out the change of angle my dear uh first of all you need to find out the value of phi so my dear you know that after displacement initially this distance is 16 and after displacement this distance is 3 so you know we are left with 13 mm here so if you see uh, if you want to find out the alpha you can see there is a triangle there is a triangle where this side is going to be 13 this side is going to be 16 and this angle is going to be alpha and this angle is going to be phi So, my dear, if you want to write down what is the tangent alpha, and you know this angle is ninety degree, I am considering this triangle, my dear, this triangle. So, if I am considering this triangle, you can write tangent phi, tangent phi as thirteen by sixteen, and tangent alpha as tangent alpha as sixteen by thirteen. So, when you will be mining, uh, you will be assuming this to be phi, this to be alpha. You can find out the value of phi and alpha. So, when you will be calculating it, you can write the phi to be tangent inverse, that is thirteen by sixteen. And after solving, my dear, you would be getting the value to be thirty nine point zero nine degrees. But you know, as uh, we are finding out the angle, we need to find out in terms of radians. So, we will be multiplying it with pi by one eighty. and then you will be getting the answer in radians and that answer will be coming 0.6823 0.6823 radians okay and guys when we are talking about the alpha angle which is nothing but tangent inverse that is 16 by 13 you know that would be coming out to be when you will be finding out with the uh, you can say kelsi you can do it i have already done for you so answer would be coming out to be 50.91 then once again you would be going for pi by 180 and my dear by doing this you would be getting the answer to be 0.8885 so 0.8885 radians now my dear these are the values of two angles okay so these are the values of these two angles now you know that you need to find out gamma at a and gamma at b and i already told you what is gamma at a and gamma at b It is pi by two minus two phi. Pi by two is in radian, so two phi would also be in radian. So pi by two minus two phi. So it is pi by two minus two phi, and it is pi by two minus two alpha. So when you will be solving it, what you would be getting? You would be getting point zero two zero six point 
0.206 sorry point, uh, 0.206 and here also 0 0.0206 but here it would be coming out to be minus and here it would be coming out to be plus okay guys so you would be getting these two as answers so one is positive other is negative so answer is going to be 0 0.206 minus 0 0.206 the answer is going to be a guys so a is going to be the right answer for this question this is a very new type of question because in gate mechanical or you will say civil such kind of question clearly have not been asked yet so you have a chance of such type of question where we are calculating the shear strains actually okay so my dear you already know whenever we are talking about shear strain it is defined as the change of angle between two consecutive sides and if the angle is getting decreased it is taken as positive shear if the angle is going to increase it is said to be the negative shear so guys this is how the shear strain is defined hope you enjoyed this if you want any particular question or concept in this daily dose series you can write down the comment in the comment section or in my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sardana so there you will mention i will be coming up with that concept or the question of the day in the daily dose session so guys goodbye for this session we will meet again in the next daily dose goodbye